I made a very basic Wraith Punk Prowler cosplay in like two days before I went to Animate NYC. And now that I'm getting ready to go to Salt Lake City's Fan X, I really want to make this Punk Prowler cosplay so much better because Wraith's voice actress is going to be there. And I want to see what I can do with the time that I have before I leave for the convention. And I have a lot planned and I don't know if I can fit everything in time, but let's get started. So first things first, I want to make the pockets on the side of Wraith's legs out of foam rather than sewing it because I think the foam will be quicker. So SKS Props has a foam pattern for these like tactical pouches, pockets that are very similar, not quite the same as Wraith's, but similar. And I think I can modify them to make them look kind of like hers. Before you all come after me in the comments for using hot glue um, on this project and how everything is going to fall apart, this isn't your typical hot glue. This is cosplay hot glue that I ordered off of Amazon. A lot of people recommended it to me and I am trying it for the first time for this project and it was working amazingly. I've had no issues. The bond with the foam is amazing. So this is the big pocket that I'm going to use. I like this one. I just need to figure out how to make it secure. If I'm going to use snaps, Velcro or magnets, I'm not sure yet. Um, you can kind of see the seam here and it's not the best here, but I'm not competing in this and nobody's going to stare at my leg long enough to notice the imperfections on this pocket. They're just not. So it is done. <laughs> and then for the smaller pockets, I made these templates um from sks props as like a guide or a reference since i was successful um with the larger one i didn't put the black on the bottom i was just done using the black fabric and being disappointed so sorry they're not canon and i also didn't extend these flaps down to like the i don't know two-thirds of the way down like hers is because again nobody's gonna be staring at the pockets long enough to notice that they're not perfect and who has stared at the character's legs long enough to notice that these pockets aren't perfect. These po pockets are enough and I'm gonna go with them. And then I will be able to secure them to my body once the belt is done printing. I was going to make the belt out of foam because I feel like that's the easiest way to make like a utility belt for cosplay is out of foam. But I was having such issues with these pockets that I am now 3D printing the belt. Yes, um, I'm hoping that the belt will be uh, finished printing by Saturday morning. We'll see. Um, I had to chop it up in a couple different pieces. I have two printers working on the belt and the rockets. I wasn't planning on adding the rockets to this cosplay. And here we are, we have the rockets being printed. So I'm excited. I think that this cosplay is actually gonna turn out better than what I anticipated when I first started this con crunch. So I accidentally put the wrong print on the printer. I was supposed to print the side pieces for the belt that I'm printing. These are the rockets again, like the main part of the rockets. And so I have to take this off and now put the correct print on, but that's okay. I think the other printer will be finished tonight and I should be able to have the whole belt printed by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. So here are the pieces of the belt. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to rig them um, to my body and keep them together, but it fits around my hips and I'm very happy how it turned out. The print lines, like where the supports were holding it up, left atrocities on the belt. So I'm gonna use some acrylic modeling paste to smooth these out and then I'll sand it a little bit before spraying it with some filler primer. So after lathering some acrylic modeling paste or wood filler on the different pieces and sanding them into eternity, <laughs> I spent all day in this hot garage just sanding everything multiple times. And once it got to the point where I felt like I could be satisfied and not hate the pieces, I started spray painting everything for them to dry overnight. So it's Sunday morning and I have a bunch of dried 
pieces. Let me show you all the pieces that I accomplished yesterday of just sanding and gluing and putting wood filler and modeling paste on it. Um, I'm very happy with everything that I've accomplished so far. And now I just need to make them look nice. So here will be the rockets. Then we have the belt. We still have some pieces of the belt that I think will look better sanded, but the belt is supposed to be leather. And so the imperfections in the belt aren't that big of a deal because leather isn't perfectly smooth. Um, and then for the belt, the only thing I have to do is maybe do some like weathering to make it look like it has more dimension and then paint the belt buckle the same color as the mask, which is over there, I don't know if you can see it. And I have that spray paint. So I just need to tape up the black parts and then spray paint the belt buckle and then break them together and the belt will be done. I still have no idea how I'm gonna bring things together. So that would be a fun part. The D-pads are not painted yet because these were kind of like a last minute idea that I had. Um, and when they printed, there was like cracks and everything and the acrylic modeling paste like is really hard. So um, I just need to sand these down now and then I can paint them today. I'm gonna paint them the same like black, like flat black as the belt. Then, this, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is probably my favorite piece. So this is the arm piece that goes up here. And it stays on fairly well. This is the hand piece that I'm just going to um, put on with magnets underneath the glove. So no big deal there. And then this, I think will also stay on pretty well. I think maybe just some elastic. And this is the arm piece. Um, yeah, I'll just have to make sure that it just stays nicely on so they don't like rub up against each other and I can actually like move my arm, but <laughs> the fact that I'm adding this piece to my cosplay makes me just very, very happy. With these additions to the cosplay this weekend, we'll really level it up from when I was wearing it before. So let's get to painting. So the worst part of painting is all the taping. I feel like I always mess something up every single time I tape, but practice makes perfect. So <laughs> here's to some more practice. So I have a little bit of an issue. It is so hot and humid in Houston right now that the paint on these pieces, specifically the blue paint, it's not drying. It's sticky. Everything is sticky. Um, so I brought it inside where the humidity is lower and it's cooler in hopes that it will dry. And it's taking a long time to dry. And on the other pieces, let me show you. On these pieces, it's like it chipped away some of the um, wood filler that I used. I don't know how like everything was smooth when I put the paint down and it's wet like like I don't know if you can see my hands but the paint is wet and I sprayed this probably like an hour and a half ago the paint shouldn't be wet this isn't my first time spray painting anything I know how to spray paint um so I'm a little stressed <laughs> about this the belt however is fine this is great and everything. I just need to um, put a little bit of detail work on it. Some of the um, tape when I peeled it off, it didn't really seal um, everything that I needed to seal. So I can just take some black paint and with a paintbrush and paint it over. It won't, won't be an issue. Um, this is pretty much done. I just need to figure out how to rig it. But I can't put all the pieces together and rig it to my body until the paint is dried on the rockets. And so I'm gonna have to do a part two. I apologize. Um, I'm gonna have to start the rigging process probably tomorrow after I figure out the whole paint situation. I hope to have part two uploaded um, by the time I arrive to Salt Lake City. If not Wednesday night, then Thursday night. So it'll be like a little bonus video this week. But yeah, I'm sorry. 
If you are new here, my name is Kate Zaid. I like to do cosplay vlogging where I show the creation of my uh, cosplays and I also like to vlog the conventions that I go to and next weekend I will be in Salt Lake City for Fan X. So that vlog will be posted next week, um, either Sunday or Monday. I try to post every Sunday, but sometimes things happen <laughs> because I don't have my workflow down. <laughs> perfectly yet but I'm getting there I'm getting better as a vlogger and so I am so excited to show you more going forward and if you would like to see more going forward make sure you like and subscribe bye